In this tutorial in Cyberlink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to reveal a title on your screen as though it were hiding behind an object in your video. Please look at the following example and then we'll show you the technique to create something like that yourself. The first thing we need to do is take our video, here it's a forklift in the warehouse, and drag it and drop it on track number one. Now I need to take that same video and put it at the same point in my project on track three, but I notice I don't have track three. A reminder for those of you who forget how to add tracks, there's two ways. I can right click in any empty area of the timeline and I have the option in the pop-up menu that simply says Add Tracks. I can get to the same screen by clicking on the icon on the upper left corner above the timeline. If I click on there, I get to my track manager as well. In this case, it wants to add a track below track 2. I don't need an audio track. I will zero that out. And then click on the OK button at the bottom of the track manager pop-up screen. So now I'm going to take my video and put a second copy and put it on track number three. Now when I play, all I see is track three because it overrides everything on track one and two. It seems like I've wasted my time, but wait and see what we can do here. We're going to go to our title room and sandwich a title between track one and track three. So if on my, my title room, uh, my default is all content, we'll just drag down to my title and drop it down on track number two. I'll lengthen it to the length of the video track. So what I want to do now is determine a little bit about what my title look, will look like and where it is in my clip. So I, I want to have the title start to appear the minute the forklift starts backing up. So it's going to be behind the forklift. So I'm going to double click and get into my title designer. And then when I'm in my title designer, I'm going to find that right point just where it starts to move. And that will help me position the title. I'm going to change a few things about this. We'll call this ACS machinery. And we'll change the font family and the font size and the color. We'll change the size to 26. We'll change the font to a black one. We're going to actually change the line spacing on this. A reminder, if I go negative, it will tighten it up. And then we're going to change the position. It will be hiding, as it were, behind the forklift body. And then we'll change one more feature about it. We'll drag across it and we'll change the color to black. Click on OK, and then we'll change the border. Turn on a border, and go from blue, we'll go to orange. And click on OK, and I like the width of 3. If I click off of it, there I have my title. I can save it for use somewhere else if I want to. I'll just click on OK for now. Now, if I play my video at this point, I still don't see anything on track two or one because it's all obscured by the identical video on track number three. So we're going to have to punch a hole in it by using a mask. So I move down to the third track and highlight that and click on designer and mask designer. This gets me into my mask designer screen. So I'm going to move to the place where I want the title to be revealed, I'm going to click on a rectangular mask in my mask properties on the upper left. I want to change one feature about that. I'm going to drag down the slider and I have an option in the object settings category called maintain mask aspect ratio. I want to turn that off. That will allow me to resize the mask. I could keep it this size if I wanted, but I don't like a mask much bigger than what I need. 
So I'm going to make it somewhat smaller here. You see as I make it larger or smaller, it reveals or conceals my text. I want to make it big enough to cover all the text. And we'll start like this. Now if we're at the, I want to find the frame where the truck starts moving back. Okay, and we'll go right about that's a good start. Now we're going to keyframe our mask. So at 10 seconds and 6 frames, I'm going to click on the diamond. That will set a position keyframe. Then we're going to move back a little bit in the project. And now it's moved. Move the entire mask so I get to see the very edge of the letters. And then we'll move over a bit. And we're going to move it again to match. Move a bit more, and you can be as precise as you want in this particular technique. And to keep it right to the edge, and we're going to move it back farther. And then here, I think I'll just have it totally be revealed. So let's stop this and play it and see what happens in our Mac Designer screen. We have the forklift moving to the left. It picks up the palette. And then as it backs up, it discloses the text. And you have a nice feature here. I'm going to click on OK. We'll go back to our major screen. We'll take a music track and add that on here for fun. We would have something similar to what you saw in that sample clip at the beginning of this tutorial. It's a nice feature, easy to use once you figure out a little bit about masking, and we hope you find this useful in your bag of tricks as you learn and grow as an editor.